So we'll just open it up for any kinds of thoughts that Jesus told you as you were watching the movie. Is there anyone that would like to express or has heard anything from Jesus while you're watching? Most of you are in the dark, so you'll... <laughs> Okay, here comes Kelly. Okay, Kelly. I can't remember them all, but when he oh, we when can't he hear said you. That, uh, it's not working. Oh, that's the speaker. There you it's go. Not working. Oh, there it is. Talking, Talking to Holy, Holy Spirit because it wasn't working yesterday. Yeah, was good either. Yeah, we could hear you a minute ago. Can everybody hear her? Can you hear me? Yeah, now we can hear you. Okay. Um, yeah, it wasn't working yesterday, so. Um, just the, I, I can't remember everything, but the one thing when he, uh, when the, um, the one who was guarding, one of the guards who was guarding the tombstone said, we ran until we could think again. I just had to laugh because they were in the great rays, the love. They saw it as fearful. That's how we see love, right? Until we don't. And so they ran until they were back in the play of consciousness. <laughs> I had to run until I could think again. <laughs> yeah, it just struck me because, you know, since I've been joining with you and Jesus on this, I just, I'm getting more and more how the thinking is just such a, such a trick, any kind of thinking, unless it's Jesus that I'm thinking with or I'm asking him. Um, every time I, I join, of course, listen, whether I'm in one on one or I'm just listening to something recorded earlier, it doesn't matter. He's talking to me all the time and it's just uh, just getting deeper and deeper that um, my thoughts are such a trick. Like um, you even said something earlier. I can't believe the ego's thoughts. Um, yeah, you said to ask. Jesus told you to ask. For any thought I have, you know, don't, whether it's valid or not, like to, to even believe it, you know, I'm just getting deeper and deeper with that because I just follow those out into the desire for depression and fear and all those things. So it's just so much easier to, to be right there below it. And then at the end when um, <laughs> the Jesus character took off into the rays and and they were blown back. He said, yeah, that's the great raise with a touch of rocket fuel. <laughs> it was just so funny. You know, it's like nothing serious. It's just <laughs> because I always kind of had an aversion to uh, not so much anymore, but I was never taken in by the whole Jesus story, you know, in form. It just, but I, of course now I can see where so much of it's just him in anything, any movie, any image, he can show us something. doesn't matter if it's the image. That's why he said, forgive him that image because it's not, not real. So it doesn't strike me that way anymore. But yeah, I actually, I really enjoyed it. I enjoy watching everything. I think we just, <laughs> I think her internet froze. Okay, Kelly, we love you. <laughs> She'll be back. No, here she comes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm back. <laughs> you froze. 
Okay. Now, I was just saying, anytime I ask Jesus to join me in anything, if it's a movie or just anything, going in the grocery store, he'll always, you know, it's just the constant, like you said, getting used to constantly talking with him. Because I think I've spoken with him a lot, but I didn't always want to hear. I didn't realize it was a want. <laughs> I thought I just couldn't, but didn't always want to hear his reply. So it's just, yeah, like I've had all these things coming up and just, with the body and the pain and stuff that I never had before, like I said, until I took off on this journey a couple of years ago. But now, you know, you showed me that too. You said like, I got deeper into the love and then the headache came, but he said, Jesus said, you're doing it with me now though. So I just, and, and I was in, uh, I think it was the 99 time store. And he said, I said, oh my God, this foot, you know? And he's like, it's only happening because you're going towards me. So don't pay any attention to it. The ego is going to make, you're just going to make everything seem worse because you're coming towards me. You know, you're, you're coming towards me to live in full 24 hour. He said, that's all it is. Don't pay attention to it. <laughs> of course I doubted it like three seconds later, but <laughs> seriously, but it's, that's, that's the game. Like you said, that's the game. If I can just get like, that's the game then I can take it so much lighter. Yeah. Every time I join and, and just, it doesn't matter. So if it gets heavy for a minute, it does. And I, this is the game. I'll go, you know, back to it, back to it, back to it. Mm. Don't, don't follow those. I, I, if I do follow them out, I give them back. But it's like the, the thoughts that I'm having, that the Kelly character is having, they're lies, you know? Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much, guys. I really, yeah, enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's so beautiful to hear how everyone's just having that little fireside chat with Jesus. What a great reflection for all of us. Is anyone else hearing anything from Jesus on this movie? Hi, Miriam. Hi, how are you? I just hear follow me so deeply. Thank you for showing this. It's just like coming home. Yeah, we're getting cuddled up with the one who knows. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mary. You know, and, and somehow Muji, when I saw him, every time I'd see him, I think I mentioned this, it's Sahaja. He always knew to wish and whisper in my ear, you are home. You are home. All that is the infinite light of being shining right here, right now. What a gift. Thank you for joining us. And that devotion, you just, yeah. What devotion here with the mighty companions. And how beautiful that turning into joining with him. Wasn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Like suspicious, I'm going to kill them all. <laughs> and then wait a minute. Like, you open the door and uh, things aren't what I thought. And Jesus will show us over and over as he controls time and space for us. Because we're completely incompetent in time and space. Ask him. <laughs> Jesus, am I totally incompetent? It's <laughs> Yeah. So we need him to control time and space. And that's exactly, it's like, wait a minute. Things are not what I thought they were. It seemed to be about the form, but it, it's a transmission that's beyond form. Like you're saying, Miriam, I'm home. That's all Jesus has to tell us. That's it. We're home. We are home, literally home itself. No place else to go other than 
with the rocket fuel. <laughs> so it's beautiful. Any other things that Jesus, anyone hear Jesus say anything else or feels that for us to hear? Oh, great, Mary. Okay, here comes another Jesus. <laughs> well, uh, Jesus is uh, um, telling me that I take it all, the game, way too seriously. I've got to figure it out. I've got to understand it. I've got to make sense. And it's just like all going out the window. <laughs> and, um, and, and my fear was that if I jumped into the volcano, I would end up blasted into smithereens. Well, guess what? Um, it, it's like the rocket fuel. It, 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 um, everything, everything, and I only momentarily do I get this everything disappears and there's just joy there's just joy and that's it <laughs> um and then then the doubt thoughts will come in and then I, then i talk to jesus and then he's i i have to take just a moment and then i'm ready again i'm willing again and it just and i so appreciate i i just can't even words do not even begin to express my gratitude um, for the way Jesus is showing up now with all of you, with with just presence that has no words. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Love you. Love you. Thank you, Dennis. Well, I was sitting here deep, deep in peace and joy and happiness and just a, a wonderful transformation in this soldier over that time from killing people left and right to getting his mind blown and then to getting his mind blown even more. And uh, yeah, it was, it, it's uh, it's great to have this forum. It is really a gift and a blessing to have all of this together like this, and to listen to UK to and, and how it's affecting me in in terms of my. <laughs> my turning to Jesus and asking him, what do you want me to do? What's next? And, and just saying hi, or just saying, I love you or whatever it is, you know, just because I want to join, I want to be with Jesus. And, and it's becoming more and more real. You know, it's becoming more and more, this is real. This is not just me talking to myself. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's, it's the, uh, it's interesting how much I've gone through in terms of devotion to um, what I've been reluctant to do altogether, which is to be more and more and more committed. And, and I can't say I'm totally committed at this point, but I certainly am moving in that direction. I can feel that. And uh, I think it's all because of this, this, this whole gathering and meeting and, and uh, just listening to questions <laughs> that, I can contemplate with being with Jesus and, and all the things that I desire that are what I want, you know. But I've been dealing with that for a long, long time. So, but it's it's becoming more uh, up against it, you might say, 
like it has been in the past, but now it's becoming more uh, pregnant, I guess, in terms of just feeling the withdrawal because there's such a contrast between being with Jesus and then not just being with my ego. And, and but it's also the working through it, just seeing into it, and you know, seeing that it's not real, that it's just just the past revisiting me one more time until I get the lesson. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you all. Beautiful. Oh, good. Okay, here comes Renee. <laughs> it's just short and sweet. Be not afraid. <laughs> That's it. That's probably all we need to know. <laughs> Be not afraid. I go before you. Yes, really, be not afraid. I am with you always. Yeah, infinite being. Jesus would have us know there's nothing to be afraid of. We're always cared by infinite love. We're what we've always been searching for right here, right now. The infinite one. So don't let the ego, those little thought pockets of untruth convince you you're anything other than infinite light. Anything other than that would be untrue. You know, it was so beautiful in that because we're so sure, so sure that we're God's going to strike us as part of the play in consciousness. What an incredible movie scene for him to sit down next to Jesus in that. I mean, is that like indelibly burned into yeah. our minds? How did that show up in cinematic history? I don't know, but what a scene that is to sit down and to have only love. And that actor, like, it was so amazing. If you read about him, the one that played Jesus, he just really meditated on God for months and months before to play that role. Is that amazing? Like, he knew. He knew. Like, look at how beautiful that was. Just pure peace and this offering love under every circumstance. And that's our only function. Jesus is setting our dial to infinite for us. Make sure our dial stays, stays infinite. Anyone else hear anything from Jesus? Or you can also lay things on the table or just ask them if anything else rose up in the crucifixion scene. <laughs> I feel like it's not complete yet. Does someone have something that Jesus is asking them to say? Miriam, did you want to say something else? I had very difficult sound issues and I didn't hear what Jesus said to the man when he said, but when you died, I was there, he said, and I saw you die or I helped you die. And then Jesus said some things to him. And I so much wanted to hear what he said. Do you remember? 
Did, we were having sound issues as well. Did anyone hear specifically what Jesus said? Oh, Kelly did. Good. Let's get Kelly. Oh, yeah. And Mary, too. Okay. Okay, Kelly. Let Mary share as well. I just remember he said, I know, and that it didn't matter. He didn't say exactly like that. Mary might remember exactly how he said it the didn't matter part, but he said he knew he was there. It was all he had was love on his face. He didn't there, yeah, no judgment in that. Nothing. Was nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> yeah, Mary, did you hear specifically what he said? I think it was he, something like it's nothing. I heard him say, I know. And then what what I'm hearing is that he then and then he paused, Jesus paused, and he asked Clavius a question, and it was it, 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 it's like and I it, it's like what do you really want? Yeah. And then he repeated to him exactly what Clavius had said to the head honcho guy. Pontius. Yes, I want, I want peace, I want, um, and I, uh, I want a day without death. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> you know, that just blew him away, yeah. uh, Clavius. And then, then one more, it's like one, the, the ship went upside, came right side up a little bit more for him. Yeah. Yeah, day without death. That's really beautiful that you saw that, Mary, actually. Because um, we didn't stop the movie there, but it was really beautiful to see the call to peace. But we don't know what peace is. Do you see? He didn't know what peace is. He was putting peace in the future. Like, I'll just get a nice little vacation spot. Remember, they're sitting in the hot tub together <laughs> with Pontius Pilate. I'll just get myself a nice little retirement home. Have we heard this before? <laughs> so in the future, and then he has a nice little talk, and Jesus took care of that for him. <laughs> yeah, I, just such a great reminder, like how much I really need Jesus to teach me what peace is. Because it was like unfamiliar territory from the play in consciousness. We have to reacclimate to infinite. So beautiful. Thanks for Mary for sharing that. Does anyone else have anything they'd like to to share that's coming through from Jesus, or do we feel complete? Oh, is that Teresa? Did I see your hand go up? Okay. We can't quite hear you, so you might have to get really close to the... Can you hear me now? Yes, we can now. Oh, good. Um, yeah, I was um, not wanting to say anything, but I just always feel like when my heart's racing, I better say it. But it was the part where... Um, um, he found the 12 disciples and Jesus in that room. And, um, yeah, I just found that really, um, it's, it's kind of like facing up. He came into that room knowing probably what those people would have thought of him. Yet when he saw Jesus, it was like nothing mattered to me that was kind of like that's just yeah it's just facing all the guilt you know there's yeah all the guilt that seems to want um me to stay away from the light but as soon as you see the light it's like nothing else matters mm -hmm. and you know that attraction is just always there but um, yeah, I know that was his job to find Jesus, but I mean, I don't know what it would have felt like to be in that room with all those disciples. Yeah, how, you know, thinking about what they would have felt toward him. 
Yeah. And then, you know, Jesus saying that everybody's welcome here. There's no enemies. Because I, I know for myself, I make things terribly hard, you know, like if I make a mistake or do something that I'm embarrassed about or I'll, the first thing I do is just run in the opposite direction. But um, where can you run? <laughs> you can go back to your old life. Yep, we're already in the tractor beam, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think that actor who played Jesus, he's a Kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that means anything at all, it's only the play, but I recognize him from um, a lot of the New Zealand movies. And wow, he played that role really well. Yeah. Yeah, there's such a heart in there, this movie, isn't there? Just so much heart, like the apostles welcoming me, that demonstration of join up. Like he didn't feel like he was worthy yet, kind of. He's kind of on the outskirts. Yeah. Wonderful, and he's still believing in attack. And even so, there's St. Peter going, come on in. <laughs> That's going to leave a scar, you know. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing us together in this holy. This is really a true sense of wedding when Jesus is talking about joining and let no man. What's the words in a wedding ceremony? Put us under. Put us under. That means a whole different thing when you have mighty companions, really. This is to be married to the Jesus, to infinite together, really in holy purpose so thank you for joining us thank you for the mighties dara dara <laughs> say your name probably wrong the last, the last day and dennis for kindly stepping in and and offering their technical expertise to get this running so we send love to all of you thank you Happy hologram. <laughs>